And we're joined by Jazz Pabla at the city of Kelowna on the forefront of technology here using AI to take people's development applications. Tell us uh, what you've been working on. Yeah, so for the last couple of years, we've been working on a solution um, to really take information that's in our zoning bylaws and other types of bylaws and make it just easier to read for developers and our, and our homeowners, right? And so if you want to build something as simple as a swimming pool, or if you're looking at, hey, can I build a carriage home on my property? How do we give you that answer a little bit quicker so you can actually start that process um, uh, right away? What's the nearest lot width without access to a rear lot in our U2 zone? Right. And it looks it up right away. Instant answers. Instant answers. So what we would like to do is just an application or a permit application that you submit. If it's done correctly right away, it just removes that barrier and that those, those time cycles that kind of get wasted on that back and forth. So how can we use AI and conversational AI to give you the information right away to know, okay, I'm missing something in my application, but I don't understand a zoning bylaw. Well, how do we make that more of a human conversation instead of zoning bylaws can be complex and hard to understand. But will we be leaving it up to a robot to make the final decision? No, no that's always going to be a human being, for, um, especially we, we haven't seen the technology quite yet do that. But if you can sort of remove some of the barriers and, and find some efficiencies, for sure. But no, a human being will always be looking at the application. Right. And, and so the um, AI that uh, you've designed here, if I understand correctly, is using information that is 100% inputted here at the city. It's not like learning and going off on its own directions. Yeah, and so what you see um, right now in the media around that chat GPT or that public sort of access, that's using the worldwide internet to sort of give you an answer. What we're working on is information that's on Kelowna.ca. So our zoning bylaws that you see sort of um, links to or documents to, we're training our AI based solely on that. And so it's not going out to the internet to get an answer, it's looking right at Kelowna.ca. How much do you see it speeding up a typical application, say for a single family home build? Yeah, you know, we're really testing, it's in early stages right now, so we're really focused on things like say swimming pools and sort of business sign applications and you know, other types of say carriage homes and things like that. Our, real, our first goal is how do we get away from data entry to sort of data quality or quality assurance and accelerate the, the sort of the data entry process of it. We don't know how, uh, what sort of the cycles are, will be sort of replaced by this, but we do know there'll be some mass efficiencies gained, not just in planning, but other sort of government activities as well. Could it shave months off a of development? Possibly, possibly, yes. Yeah, 100%, especially when you get to phase two and phase three, where we're looking at the AI system to actually look at the drawings that you submit to give you feedback right away to say you're missing this or you're missing that. That sort of back and forth, if you can remove that, that does shave off months off of an application. And do you think that uh, other cities and maybe other levels of government might be coming to the city of Kelowna and saying, okay, how, how did this work for you? Yeah, it's especially, you know, the last few days, we've got a lot of uh, positive feedback from other municipalities looking for ways to do this. And we got a grant from UVCM to build this about two years ago. And one of the things we said in the grant is we'd be sharing this solution with all, you know, all the municipalities across BC on how we did this. So we'll be open and, and transparent in sharing that right. as well. So this might not be just a benefit for, benefit for people uh, who have applications of this sort in Kelowna, but, but everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. And we'll, we'll share it with anybody across Canada as well, just to help with the whole housing uh, dilemma that we're facing. Do you see this costing jobs here in this building behind you? No, you know, you know that's a common question we get about AI all the time, and, and we don't. There's so much work to do right now, and there's only so many people, and with the uh, labor market tight the way it is, if we can use AI to find efficiencies, we could probably accelerate things, but there's just so much work to do right now. All right, so no one's job's on the line with this. No, no, not no at No one's going to be blaming you for losing their job. No, no, but we might, you might see different types of jobs, right? Because you're starting to see how do we maybe use AI and, and interact with it a little bit different. So maybe those in the, in the future, you might see that, but no, not, not, at, not right now, no. All right, true. Thanks for telling us about it. Yes. And thank you for watching Kelowna Now.